everyone. It's so great to be back. Here we are, we three queens. I'm Achieng. I'm Micheline. And I'm Musonda. And today we want to talk about cultures, but not just cultures in abstraction, the cultures of work. Mm. Because two years ago, when we talked about the cultures of work, it was so different That's true. Oh, from cultures of totally. work as we're living and experiencing them today, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when we think about cultures of work, you know, you know, we're in Africa, for example, and how we interacted two years ago in the workplace was very different. Exactly. Yeah, sometimes we hug, or we'll give each other high fives, or we'll shake hands. In many countries, you shake you hands, and handshake. have endless conversations about the children and the whatever, like West Africa, Yeah. before you then get into work. And it's, it's so different today. Mm -hmm. You know, you've both worked in all <laughs> sorts of continents, oh I think all continents around the world is yeah. around, are around this table. Yeah. yeah. And think about two years ago, mm -hmm. wow. or five years ago, mm -hmm. what were the cultures of work then and if you think about the world we're living in now, how dramatically do you think those cultures have shifted? The coffee machine, girl. Oh, oh, I yes. mean... <laughs> Yeah. Or the coffee point, actually. You know, I remember yeah. just, you know, calling up a colleague. I'm like, can we just go and grab coffee yeah. downstairs? Yeah. And then we stood there and, and then an idea comes to our mind. And we're like, wow, we should, I think, conceptualize that. Yeah. Put it into a concept, a proposal. Yeah. Blah, that, that sounds great. Yeah, high five. Yeah, girl, good yes. to see you. Or yeah. mister. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's go and put this thing, you know, pen to paper, blah, blah. And that human contact yes. where you see that there's a genuineness about my understanding yeah. and my agreement mm. on this idea. Yeah. My God, how times have changed. I'll, I'll hang on to coffee for a moment. <laughs> All the coffee that Brazilians drink. Yeah. Do you know, like, I'll just be like, Tao Paulo, start my day. I'd be like, ah, vamos tomar un cafezinho. Let's go for a coffee. I'd be like, oh, great, because it's like now 11, yeah. right? So you go have your coffee. But I thought it was just cute and fun. And then I was like, but so, some serious discussions yeah. do happen. Yes. And what I love is you go there. Mm. It's not so much like the coffee in the office, or, yeah. although there is that, but we would go to a cute little coffee bar mm -hmm. yeah. and have a bit of coffee, right? So, so I'm just thinking like yeah. culturally, just way before COVID, yeah. mm. in the office, brick and mortar, and those like, you know, those, those patterns that come out of a culture. Yes, exactly. Yeah. exactly. And yet now, oh. Now it's so different. Mm. You know, you're having these meetings that once upon a time were face-to-face -face conferences for a week in Seychelles mm. or um, four days in Morocco or, you know. That you don't even you... realize what day of the week it is. Exactly. <laughs> True. And you're working, but you're having a great time and you're bonding yeah. and getting to know people. Yeah. And those connections are what help you move the agenda forward. Mm. Yes. And suddenly you're not having those conferences anymore yeah. or yeah. meetings. Right. You know, I, but, I mean, you, know, you know what's so right. funny now that you say that? Because, yeah. I've, you know, I've, I've started this new job six, seven months ago. And what's interesting is now I get into these spaces and I'm confused. Is it a handshake? Is it a hand, you know? Yeah, yeah. that's funny. Should, you know, that awkward, because yeah. suddenly, suddenly, and, and, and sort of, you know, going to Italy, you know, yeah. suddenly people extend their hand, and I realize, no, we're in a COVID world. And then I just do mm. um, very quickly, instinctively, because I'm, I have my mask on. So even that, you know, how they, you know, how are you bumping each other? Yes. And how, but the good thing is, I think, now that we have this eye contact, because remember, people for months were locked in. Yeah totally locked in in front of a screen, but even mm -hmm. just that eye contact, even if, you know, my children were asking me the other day, mommy, how do you know if someone is smiling when they look at you and they're wearing a mask? Yeah. And I said, my darling, the windows of the soul are through the eyes. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. now there's, a, there's an honesty and there's a genuineness, I think, with which a lot of people are coming to a space, yeah. um, which I'm finding kind of curious and, yeah. and very interesting as well. Yes, exactly. This COVID world, you know, the other day, I was um, on a Zoom meeting, as mm -hmm. one is, and the lead supervisor in this firm uh, was in his six-year-old pink, pastel pink, mm. little girly bedroom. And you know, we're having like a serious discussion about you know, <laughs> know investments with this PE firm. Mm. And you know, I mean, I've always known this is a, an amazing you know, guy, yeah. honestly. Mm. Um, such a pleasure to work with, so avant-garde in his thinking about just everything. Um, but just seeing him and his little daughters, and he's like, oh, he's like, oh, the Wi-Fi here is better. So I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. And then at some point, the little girl comes, and of course, she's dressed in pink, and she just, you know, plonks onto his lap. And hey, you know, what is he going to do? You can't throw your seven-year-old. I hope you don't throw your seven-year-old to the side, you know? I love that story because it, it shows that all the the things that, that we judged people about mm -hmm. or the lens through which we 
judged people mm -hmm. or in a professional people, sense in the professional yes. sense yes. right those have shifted shifted because we're not judging anymore it's we're okay if the kid comes and joins and says hi you know mm. or when somebody says oh sorry it's my kid they're having a bit of a tantrum because the cartoon thingy has ended i need to replay it that's okay we're not judging anymore mm. and guess what something just came yeah. to mind yeah even for those of us who do judge because remember the beginning of covid everybody had this like rather you know i don't know magnificent no, I'm going somewhere no, else with this. Bookshelf. Ah, oh, bookshelf. I, I have one. <laughs> huh? Everybody either had that big with mahogany books. with good <laughs> books or just a nice little well-curated yeah. stack mm -hmm. and so on. And you could see even on CNN yeah. or even local TV, the journalists all had, you know, little serious things behind yeah. them. Guess what technology did? Because you technology people are amazing. Yeah. Blurring the background. Oh. I providing see. another yes. background. background yeah. So no judging. Because guess what? Sometimes your office space is just a little patch of cement, you know, like that's just at the entrance of your studio apartment, if I right. can call it that, right. which you share with your two young siblings or whatever. Yeah. yeah. You know? Exactly. So the judging could have come in terms of, oh my God, is that the space this person has and they're supposed to be a manager in our bank? Yeah. Exactly. You know? So yeah. I like that you know, technology has helped us basically sort of oh, remove yeah, totally. those little judgments exactly. in yeah. a way about yeah. where we live and how yeah. we live. Yeah. Actually, you talked about the touchy feely of mm. Africans and just, you know, the whole how this shift has kind of like also kind of left us a little confused mm -hmm. in navigating this space. I'm kind yeah. of curious about what you what your thoughts have been about that and how you experienced it. Yeah. You know that the, you know so, some countries it was hugs or kisses, you know, to say hello, you mm. know, ma soeur, ma soeur, they, you know, and there's always kind of that touching. I know in the African context we're a quite, very touchy we society. We're quite touchy. Mm -hmm. me of Madagascar, yeah. I would take one hour, my first job ever, and I love, <laughs> loved it, you know, yeah. and I'd say, hi, ina vau vau, ah, that's how you greet, ah, ina vau vau. But all this is with two, three kisses, I knew oh, it was oh, like a four-story building. Before. Sit, <laughs> thinking, oh, you know, like, let me start working. And it's 11. Yeah. It's taken me an hour and a half. <laughs> to learn. Yeah, but that was so such important. an important part so of building those work relationships. An important ritual. It's yes. a ritual. Yes. Actually, yes. that's the word. So can you imagine now, guys, I don't know, what do you guys think? The world has changed. Mm. We're on the screen. Mm -hmm. And now you don't have the benefit of seeing my smile or, or maybe, my, you know, touching yes. and connecting and bonding over a coffee, mm -hmm. suddenly you're having to try and find a way to connect with people over the screen. Yeah. Right. And you can imagine in some of those corporate cultures to come back to cultures of work, where it's kind of stiff and rigid and blah, 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 mm. but you can bond by the coffee machine, suddenly it's a culture that's been stiff and rigid and now you're trying to have to connect with people mm -hmm. in front of the screen. And you're saying they're in front and yet, especially in these markets across Africa, a lot of people would say they don't want to be on the screen, so yeah. they're on audio. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, not exactly. Even say they. Let me even speak for myself. That after a whole day mm. of Zoom, you know, there are some calls where I'm like, I'm just going to do audio. I won't be doing video on this one. Yeah. Apparently, yeah. studies are yeah. showing that so it's, it's training that for women. Connecting? Yeah. I yeah. I don't know to answer your question. I don't know. I would say the one mm. thing I'm really, con you know, thinking about is um, how do you hire? How do you recruit? Because you know, the orientation. How do you get somebody? to be part of a team and onboard them virtually. Yeah. I don't have an answer. I'm throwing that out. I really don't know how. I was getting onboarded. You I was getting onboarded virtually. I was, I was a typical COVID hire. Yeah. I literally applied for the job in the middle of a pandemic, got interviewed on screen, um, but also at the same time, like the assessment was yeah. done um, virtually. Yeah. Um, and also at the same time, well, the good thing is at least, you know, I, I was familiar with the system because it's still the UN system yeah. at the same yeah. time. So that kind of, gives it a different, you know, yeah. nuance to it. However, I mean, I moved from one agency to another, but I also needed to be onboarded because I did not understand the systems, I did not understand the mechanisms, and also I'm, you know, leading an outposted office, what does that mean, and yes. all of that. And so the learning itself is, initially, technically, I would have flown to New York yeah. for the onboarding right. as a director, right. but I didn't. Yeah. So now, right. so we begin to really rethink these spaces yeah. in terms of how can we be um, more economical, but also how can we 
how can the systems be more robust yes in terms of you know how do you engage and get everybody on board and so sometimes it's back again to the cameras please colleagues if possible put on your camera that so we can sad. see you because the experience yeah. is so important i think fundamentally at the heart of it is the experience mm. Mm. you know i do a lot of training online a, a lot of virtual that's trainings. right yeah you've done and some nice ones yeah. finding a way to make that connection happen mm. the cameras for a start mm. even if sometimes like we had one lady this this week yeah and she was with her kids and she was on her bed because she needed to take the training um, and the kids were playing outside because they were on holiday. Mm. And so, you know, I said, you know, just so we can meet and put a face to the name, ladies, come on, put on your cameras. You know, it was a women's training thing. And she had her bonnet on. It, this this thing that we it. put on our heads. I love black it. Girls. I love it. <laughs> it's it's a whole sleeping. thing on bonnet politics now. Well, by the way. Yeah, yeah, was oh, really? I was trying for another day. But yeah. there she was. So she had her bonnet and she was wearing her, her casual kind of home wear that was kind of free and loose and, you know, comfortable. But she said, Oh, I'm so sorry. And I said, Do not apologize. apologize. You know, it's that. so wonderful that you're able to be on this call. Mm -hmm. And so we ended up having this whole conversation. And she, but then her hair was very nice. But yes. she was, I guess she was, she was lying on her bed as she's taking the training. Yeah. Or chilling on her bed. Yeah. <laughs> and I loved that we were able to be real about it. And I love it. I feel like yeah, part of that. the experience is allowing people to be their authentic selves without mm -hmm. having to apologize. Yeah. Uh, and present yourself absolutely. as you are. Absolutely. Yes. Just I think we've be. got to weave that into the fabric then yes. of the values or the culture of the organization. Absolutely. You see, you have really just been your authentic self mm. you know for a while now you know but we still have these older sort of you know yeah. organizational constructs yes. and you know everybody's still sort of supposed to come you know everything just every hair in place every little like iron shirt yeah and so i think part of the solution to this yeah. problem are posed mm. right of how do we make the online experience okay for somebody joining exactly get that inclusion and belonging exactly is shifting you know really sort of letting you know all those all that armor go yes. and, and convincing people that no 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 we love that in mm -hmm. fact yeah. we have pajama fridays or whatever it might be <laughs> that works for your context mm -hmm. i really think we need exactly. to do that exactly mm -hmm. yeah you know mm -hmm. yeah i think so um and just allowing ourselves to be our truth be ourselves yes yeah you know yeah Sometimes, but you know yeah, i mean the thing that i'm also experiencing is that yeah. i mean there's so many workspaces as well that are forcing people to return to the office so you know majority of you are vaccinated and you need yeah. to return yeah. But we also don't realize that people's mindsets and people's being have shifted very yes. dramatically. Yes. You know, do I want to go back to that culture that was, you know, a culture of just maybe it wasn't an inclusive space. Mm -hmm. I feel slightly different just sitting behind the screen and I feel safer, yeah. but I'm also more creative being alone yeah. and I work yes. better. Yeah. So yes. this rethink of these sort of work cultures and, 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 and I think they're manifesting in around the world, everywhere. Yeah, that is powerful. That, I Do think you know, we should, yeah. yeah. And honestly, I was just thinking quickly through it to think, hmm, how many companies out there, you all will tell us hopefully yeah. in your comments if you want to be at home, if you want to go yeah. back to work, but what the companies, organizations are saying, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, because yeah. are we ready for this really monumental shift that's yeah. happening? Yeah. You know? I don't think we'll ever go back to where we were. No. I, don't I mean, so I well. certainly think that we shouldn't even try to go back to like oh, nine to five, you know, for four years. Stuck the in the traffic. That's industrial, um, industrial yeah, age, you know, nine yeah, to five. Exactly. The world has totally changed. Yeah. Here, you know? I agree. But anyway, ladies, I think that's all we have time <laughs> oh, for. Always great. Um, I think um, on that note, yes, let's wrap this up. Call it a day. Tell us a little bit more about your experiences. What has shifted within the organizations you work for in terms of the culture of how you work and where you work? Let us know in the comments below. Yep. It's a wrap from us. We are We Three Queens. Queens. And subscribe. subscribe.